and it is the furthest thing from the truth. I discovered this a few years ago in my study, and I want to share it with the world because this is what steroid junkie, absolute meathead wagons do to gain their muscle, but you're not on anabolic steroids, so guess what? You can't do this crap because it's not going to work for you. If I would have known that, I would have reached my goals way faster. I want to show you why the chest, back, leg, shoulders, arm split is absolute garbage unless you're on anabolic steroids. And then I want to provide you with a solution so that you can train better, smarter, and get to your goal faster. Let's take a quick look. So if I do chest and back, I put some... Uh, muscle groups, okay? When we talk about muscular hypertrophy, right? Physique, you're wanting to get jacked. That is what you're talking about. You need to hit your muscle groups minimum two to three times per week in terms of frequency for them to actually grow. If I do chest once a week, am I working my chest more than once? That's a simple question and answer. How did anybody get that screwed up? I'll tell you exactly how. The roid monkeys got it screwed up. That's who did it. You know why? Because they are 24 seven in an anabolic window. 24 seven, they have muscle protein synthesis going on. You, as a natural lifter, do not have that. As a matter of fact, you hit this muscle group on Monday and you don't touch it again for a week, guess what happens? About 24 hours after you touch that muscle group, it's done growing for the entire week. How is that gonna be beneficial for you accomplishing your goals? That's going to spread your ideal physique out over the course of three or four years longer than it should be. That's what happens when you read crappy articles written by people that have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. Okay? So what I want to show you, this chest needs to be hit at least twice this week. That's all you need to know. If you want to grow your chest, hit it twice. You can even do the same amount of volume in one workout and spread it out over two and it will be more beneficial. I'll say that again, you can take the same amount of work and just place it within the same week in a smarter manner and get more results. That's how easy this crap is if you understand it. So let's just watch this, this is garbage. Legs, look, these guys hit legs once a week, are you freaking kidding me? What do they do, a two and a half hour long leg day? You're gonna hit hamstrings, quads, calves, hip flexors, abductors, adductors, glutes, all of that in one workout, and then not touch it for the rest of the week? It's garbage, it's trash. So let's look at this. Upper, lower split is the answer. That's it, okay? And then you can have some accessory days in there, but you're gonna do upper, lower, Monday, Tuesday, and then Thursday, Friday, you're gonna do upper lower. You're only gonna have to be in the gym four times that week as opposed to five and you're gonna get more results. Is that not smarter? Is that not smarter? I don't know, you tell me. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread that same volume out per muscle group over two workouts now as opposed to just one. That's what this template provides you. If you guys want programs like this that are built not for you to be on steroids, but for you to be a normal human being, who can get results despite having a family life, despite having a successful career, despite spending three hours on your leg day, then reach out to us at Infinite Pursuit and we can show you how to make fitness a manageable part of your life.